I'm really excited because I just got a really exciting package in the mail. I ordered some roller skates and they finally got here. So I got the Impala brand roller skates. They weren't the ones that I wanted to get, but there's kind of a shortage of everything right now and these were the only ones I could find in my size. They're more of like a beginner roller skate, but they are supposed to be pretty decent and since I've never roller skated before, I thought that this would be a good roller skate to start off with. So this is the color I got. It's the aqua one with pink laces and I just took them out of the box and laced them up and I'm gonna try them on for the first time. One thing you want to make sure of is that your wheels can move. They might be a little tight straight out of the box. So these ones are rolling a little bit, but they might need to be loosened a bit more. Um, but I'm just going to try them on right now and see how they are because I think if they're a little tighter, they'll keep me from falling. Oh, by the way, I also got a set of knee pads and elbow pads that I will definitely be wearing. I forgot to put them on just now, but I'm just going to be trying these out indoors. But if I go outside, I'm definitely going to make sure to put these on. floors in this house are really crooked so this is kind of hard because there's like a downhill even when I'm standing still gravity is just bringing me to one side of the room but they're definitely more slippery than I thought they would be even though the bearings are probably not as loose as they should be right now I'm still finding it a little difficult they're also a little clunky because the wheels are so huge. I'm already starting to realize that I need to put my weight lower and like kind of crouch down because when I'm standing up, I have very poor balance. And then once I just like squat my butt down a little bit, I can stay a little more balanced on my feet and I'm able to maneuver. And I'm also realizing that putting my weight on like the outer and inner parts of my feet is helping me to kind of turn my feet a little bit, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna just keep on trying these out for a little bit and try not to fall on my face. <laughs> Later that day, I took my skates to try outside for the first time. It was definitely a little scary. I had all of my safety pads on, but stupidly, I did forget my helmet. Definitely wear your helmet, especially on your first time because this is a pretty new and precarious thing. I was just trying to get used to the mechanics of moving and stopping. So you can see I'm just playing around with my toe stop. I did find it pretty hard to build up any momentum, especially if there was an upward slope. So I decided to loosen my wheels a little bit. You can see that when I spin them now, they do spin for a longer period of time. And the way they come straight out of the box, they're just a little tighter than you probably want them. And once I loosened those up a little bit, it was definitely easier to move around. I was pretty wobbly that first day and I was really scared of stopping. I used to rollerblade when I was younger and the stops were in the back of the rollerblades. So this is a completely different thing because your toe stops are on the front and it's just not a motion that I'm used to at all. So sometimes instead of actually stopping when I was going too fast, I would just keep going forwards until I hit some sort of uphill and would lose momentum. And here I am showing off some unconventional ways of roller skating. Eventually, I did build up to just speeding up a tiny bit faster. To be honest, I thought I was going really quickly, but once I watched this back, I realized that I was barely faster than walking speed. 
at some point this dog did come up to me apparently dogs really like things on wheels um, so that was a really cute moment you can see here that I am in like a parking lot kind of situation by a school and the lot and the sidewalks were pretty rough and had a lot of cracks in them that were hard for me to maneuver because I didn't know how to get over them yet. So I moved to an area that had a slightly smoother sidewalk. The cracks are really big here, but the areas in between the cracks at least were smoother. So this was slightly easier for me to just learn a little bit about moving on. I'm really trying my best to teach myself how to build up speed without lifting my skates up so I'm just shifting my weight from one foot to another and also doing some little bubbles On day two, my legs were super sore from day one because I had skated for two hours that first day and my legs were really not used to using all of these different muscles, especially in my inner thigh area. So I mostly just practice a few like starting and stopping drills. These are T pushes and then just breaking with my toe stop. And I also tried balancing on one foot at a time. I'm so bad at this in the beginning and I can barely do it for more than a few seconds even when I'm not moving. On day three, I found a tennis court that I could skate on and this was way better than trying to skate on areas with lots of cracks. It was so smooth and I was just gliding through. I was just practicing kind of cruising and turning around here and just really learning where my inner and outer edges are on my skates. So I was practicing making some wide turns and it was just a really fun day. It was so much easier learning how to move and do things on the smooth surface. I didn't have cracks like every two steps that would get in the way. And I practiced some scooter pushes, which is when you're on one leg and push off with the other leg. And this is really good for working on those one leg balances because you are basically having all of your weight on one foot. And I know they don't look like much, but they are a lot more challenging than it seems. The scooter pushes were pretty challenging for me in the beginning, but I think this was a really important thing for me to practice early on because it did come into play later into my 14 day journey. The next day, Aaron got a brand new skateboard, so we were able to skate together, which was really fun because it's always fun to have a little skate buddy to hang out with you when you're skating around. And on this day, I learned how to do cannonballs, which is when you basically just squat down. And I also started doing some shoot the duck moves, which is when you have one leg out while you're squatted down. It's basically a pistol squat while you're rolling. I was really happy that this wasn't too hard for me to do because honestly a lot of the things up to now were a lot more challenging than I thought they would be and I was getting a little discouraged that I really sucked at skating. So it was nice just to have a small little thing that I figured out I could do. Since the beginning I had been doing forward bubbles and I found those pretty easy to do so today I wanted to try out doing backwards bubbles and this was much more challenging. It's just a completely different sensation and I couldn't really get the hang of it. So instead I tried skating backwards by just taking little baby steps and you can see here that was also really hard for me, but we will continue to work on that in the next few days. I ended the day with one last shoot the duck just to make myself feel a little bit better about my progress. On day five, I started doing some two foot jumps. First I practiced on a soft surface, so here I'm just in the grass, just making sure that I am bending my knees and have the correct form when I'm coming back down to just lessen that impact a little bit. And here I am trying it out on just a parking lot, which is a harder surface. And I was able to get a few little baby jumps. I'm not really coming off the floor that much, but I'm totally okay with that for a first time. I only fell a few times too, so I think that's not too bad. 
On this day, I also started learning the movements um, that are the basics for two foot spins. So I'm basically just making little half circle motions with each of my feet. One of my feet is going to be going forwards and the other is going backwards. And then I kind of just combine those semicircle movements like you can see here. And eventually this is supposed to be the basis of a two foot spin. So you can see here when I speed it up, I am kind of doing a spin. It's still really slow, even sped up. But here I am doing it in real time, just getting used to that motion for my feet. And eventually as I get comfortable with this, I just try to do it a little faster until I get dizzy. And here I am trying to put it together. I'm doing a pretty bad job here because I didn't realize I was using my upper body so much to try and build that momentum, but you're really supposed to just use your legs and feet to be doing the motion. So it's kind of good to just to have this on video for my own reference to see what my form looks like. So I kind of did some turns, but really kind of not because I don't think this is at all how you're supposed to do it. On day six, I started practicing some crossover movements and here I am just practicing it while I'm not moving. I just want to make sure that when I cross my feet over, they are completely parallel because if you have them crossed either in the front or the back, you're going to end up falling. So just doing it while I'm not moving is a good way to ensure that I don't fall flat on my face. Once I got that down while standing still, I tried putting it together while moving and I was not really great at it this first day. I didn't really understand what I was doing wrong at the beginning and it looks super awkward because I just don't really have my weight on the right feet during this whole thing. So it just looks really awkward right now, but I did end up getting this a lot better by the end. So just stay tuned for how that progresses. I also practiced skating backwards again. I was doing those little baby steps and just building up momentum little by little. I am on a slight downhill in this area and at some points it would just get a little too fast for me since I wasn't comfortable going backwards and I would kind of just freak out. But luckily when you're going backwards, it is a lot easier to stop because your toe stops are right there. So after you just get over that initial weird feeling of going backwards, it gets a little more comfortable just knowing that you can stop pretty easily at any time. I also started trying to work on transitions from going backwards to forwards and vice versa, just because I did want to work on this skating backwards kind of thing and it would be good to know how to switch from one to the other. I think the turn I'm trying to do here is a mohawk turn, but it is very difficult for me because my legs don't really bend outwards to create the right shape. I also revisited doing some two foot spins because I found this really smooth area of sidewalk and it's a lot easier to practice spins on a smooth surface versus like a parking lot asphalt. So I found it easier to move my feet in this area and you can see I'm doing slightly better in not really moving my upper body and instead just like bending my legs down to be able to create that momentum. Definitely still not great at it, but it is better than yesterday, which is progress. I also fell on my butt pretty hard that day as well. I think spins are just something that are pretty hard for me naturally. I can't even do a cartwheel and even somersaults are kind of scary for me, so it kind of makes sense that this doesn't really click for me yet. On day seven, I decided to loosen my trucks a little bit. To do this, you just flip your skate over to the bottom and loosen this little nut where your cushions are, and this helps you to turn a little easier. You can see that once I loosen it, my trucks can move side to side a little easier. And I thought that I had them a little too tight just because I was finding it really hard to make sharper turns and also to do spins. So I thought that this would help a little bit. I feel like I should have done this sooner because it really did make a big difference in being able to turn a little better. 
And I know some of this is personal preference as well, but I do like having a little bit of looser trucks to be able to have my skates be more sensitive to when I want to turn. So that day I tried spinning again and I was on the smooth tennis court again and I think the combination of the smooth surface and loosening my trucks did help a little bit. Some of my two foot spins actually turned into heel toe spins without me meaning to which was kind of cool because I think those are technically supposed to be harder but for some reason I found it just a little easier to have only two pairs of wheels on the ground instead of four because having all of my wheels on the ground it was kind of just grabbing the ground too much and I wasn't able to get the right movement for the spins. I'm also getting a lot more comfortable with backward skating at this point. I'm not going super fast but I can at least build up momentum by taking these side by side steps and just learning how to shift my weight while going backwards. And also having my trucks loosened a bit allowed me to make some sharper turns, which you can see here. So we're kind of at the halfway point of this 14 day journey. And on day eight, I kind of just played around and worked on a lot of the things that I have been working on. Here I am practicing some one foot balances and you can see it's definitely improving from day one and two. I can pretty much go on one leg for at least like half of this tennis court area, which I think is really cool. And then other than that, I was kind of just playing around with my loosened trucks and being able to spin a little easier. This is definitely not a real move, I was just playing around. And then I played around with doing this little thing. I'm not actually sure if this is a real move. It's kind of like a toe stop pivot, but I don't actually have a toe stop on the floor. I have my whole foot and then I kind of lift my other skate a little bit, which I'm not actually sure if you're supposed to do, so I don't suggest trying this move out, but I just thought it was kind of fun. I also fell on my butt a lot of times doing this, but I was already so close to the ground that it wasn't even a big deal. It's not like falling down when you're standing up. That is super scary because you don't really know what you're gonna hit, but when you're this low, you're just gonna fall on your butt anyway, which is kind of the preferred way to fall. On day nine, I just worked on a lot of those same skills again, just some one foot balances and also skating backwards. Endless roads to the horizon, past the oasis, it's all behind ya. Mirage of agua, the stars above ya, the creatures days to nocturnal days makes you forget about all types of things you remind me of the I also learned how to do these like crossover bubble type of things. I think this is also called braiding and that was a pretty fun thing to learn. I think it makes you look a lot cooler even though you're just a beginner. The Arizona thunder tonight. On day 10, I practiced indoors because it was super hot out and there wasn't too much that I was working on that I could do in a small space, but I did learn how to do these manuals, which is when you go up on different parts of your skates. So we have heel heel manuals, toe heel manuals, and also toe toe manuals. And I was really happy that I was able to figure all of these out. It was definitely a little challenging at first and the toe-toe -to manuals I think are the hardest ones, but I was able to do all of them, which I was really happy about. On day 11, I had a little bit of a breakthrough and I kind of learned how to do my backwards to forwards transitions. The thing that really changed it for me was learning to stagger my feet before I did this because then my legs were kind of already in the right position. And then I kind of just go up on my heel wheels and just flip around really quickly, lifting my toe wheels up. I was so excited that I finally figured out how to do this because I've been trying to do this since the beginning and I kept practicing it and it just wasn't coming together for me. 
That day I also practiced just learning some different new moves. These are like kind of the moves that are more popular on Instagram or TikTok. So this first one that I'm trying to do here is the strut walk and I'm just getting the mechanics of a down right now so I'm not actually moving forwards. So it does actually look like I'm trying to do a moonwalk. Um, but here's how it kind of is supposed to look like going forwards. I obviously am pretty terrible at this and it looks really awkward, but you're supposed to kind of just like move your hips up and down so it looks like you're strutting. And sorry, I have a pretty dumb face while doing this because I know that I look completely ridiculous when I'm trying to do this, but that's kind of how we all start, so no shame in that. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Be thinking that you're all night Be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see I also started practicing the steps for the downtown which is basically a front crossover, a back crossover and then you bring your legs together and do like a little shuffle for two beats so yeah, I'm pretty stiff here, not really trying to add any cool moves or upper body movement because I am just trying not to fall right now, but this is the beginning of what it looks like. On day 12, I worked on my transitions again. I'm now able to do the backwards to forwards transition, but I can't really do it the other way around because going into backwards is really scary. And instead of doing the transition with both of my feet on the ground, I actually learned how to do a 180 jump with my feet staggered again. I think that's really a game changer because it makes you feel a lot more stable. And I was able to do that successfully and even tie it in with the other transition I learned the other day. And I think it looks pretty good. The next day, I got some new wheels in the mail and I was able to upgrade my skates. These are the Moxie Fun Day wheels and they're supposed to be really good for tricks and turning, so I was excited to see how that would affect my skating. It's I tried out the new wheels for the first time on day 13 and on this day, I revisited crossovers. I had watched another video about crossovers that was different from the first one I watched and it completely changed the game for me. For some reason, I didn't realize that crossovers are kind of what you use to turn or to go in a circle. So instead of trying to go in a straight line, I practiced this going into a circle and it was just way better. I also didn't realize that one foot is supposed to be pushing outwards as you move, which you might be able to see in this little clip. And now that I was doing these crossovers a little more properly, I was building up a lot of speed. Sometimes it was almost too much for me. I do think that turning and doing different things on these wheels is a lot easier than my old stock wheels on my Impala skates. So I'm happy to have these to keep learning moving forward. I also tried out my manuals on these new wheels. The wheels are a little more sensitive, so I may have been just a little bit more wobbly. And I was also able to practice some transitions as well. So here we are on the last day, day 14. We found this beautifully big, smooth, empty collection of basketball courts that we had all to ourselves, and it was amazing. Since we're at the end of this 14 day journey of learning how to roller skate, I wanted to put together a collection of clips for you guys to show you all of the different things I learned throughout this time. I wish that I could say that I could string everything together into one smooth routine, but I'm just not there yet. So instead, I put together this little montage and hopefully that'll do. I don't need to think about it. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. Flowers even mad about it. Cause it can't blow like you don't. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Baby, I'm outside. Be thinking about you all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside Picked 
the station Sunrise, no destination No lie, I've been so patient Like winter, waiting for June I'm done and waiting for you Waiting for you Baby, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night Been thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams I'm I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this process of watching me learn to roller skate for the very first time. I have learned so much along the way and have had such a good time doing it, and I can't believe that I went from this on day one to this. If you want to keep watching my progress as I continue learning, I have started a new Instagram account for my roller skating, so you can follow me there to see how I progress. And until then, I put together this compilation of all of my fails and falls along the way. So just enjoy that, and I'll see you again in the next video. I think you should start to know that because... Yeah, running, running, got me gunning, gunning. I'm old school cat, got me stunning, stunning. I'm funny how the rest, but I'm coming, coming. I'm funny how you back for the love and I've been. I got one too many tricks up my sleeve. I'm hustling, leave. Overdose of empathy, my pops to me. More screenshots to me, the streets are free. Go ahead and take from me. Feeling right, feeling right, out of line Gotta hit my boy Ricky for the way up the time Proud of driven, but it's nothing like the climb and grind Take the time, tripping over space and time My mind in line, spinning like a god of time My modest mind, speaking from the heart of kind A way to find another way to pass the time I made my mind, the station's kind of racing Yeah, running, running, got me gunning, gunning Old school cat, got me stunning, stunning